Hello everyone and welcome back to part 64 of Build HMS Victory. So if you join me in the last day, last week's video, I just kind of finished off all the rest of the coppering on both sides of the hull and that's now complete. So now it's time to start working on the uh, on the rudder. I've had this part for, for a long time. I actually came with issue 51. I think the last time I worked on issue 51 was around about April of uh, 2019. Yeah, so it's kind of one of the stages where I kind of thought, oh yeah, I'll put this away. And then as soon as I finish the coppering, I'll uh, come back to that. So yeah, so fast forward. 14, 15 months, and it's now time to start working on the road here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to put uh, Victory to one side in a second. But before I do that, I just want to let's put this road here and kind of have a look at it, how it's going to fit to what we've already done. That's not bad. So I'm just going to mark it on each side, pretty much where I finished the copper in. Just because I'm going to copper this in exactly the same way as in the hull. But I just needed to make a couple of indication marks so I know where I'm working to. Okay, so in issue 51, this is where we uh, got all the parts for the rudder. And this is what I was, uh, I've been mentioning before about obviously what I uh, really miss with the Matto build is, is these magazines because you get some really, I mean, look at the detail you can kind of work to. I mean, obviously I've been to Portsmouth and I've took photos of the rudder myself, but if you haven't, you get some really good, really good pictures that you can work to. And you get, like, I tend to get a really good cutout as well. And it's, I mean, the complete construction is always uh, looked into in a really for way of everything, how everything was built. So I really like this about this section. Okay, so I'm just going to turn to this section where we, uh, we're going to be preparing the rudder. Okay, so these these two marks that I just made either side where I uh, finished my copper in. And it's quite obviously, if I was going to wear, uh, if I wasn't coppering this, then I'd, I'd kind of give it a lot of attention and take away a lot of these burn marks from where the... Uh, the laser cutting process because I'm going to copper this I'm not really going to worry about it too much okay so what I first thing we do is just draw a little pencil line two mil in from the uh, edge of the rudder on the top and at the bottom and I'm just going to join these up Just repeat that on both sides. So now I've finished uh, just drawing these pencil lines, two mil on both sides, and now I need to start marking it for the position of the hinges. It's actually, not actually hinges, there's a proper name for them. That's what I was saying to her, is it the, uh, the pintles and the gudgeons? Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so the first mark I need to make is 7mm from the bottom. And then 14mm. And that's the first, the first call. And I need to move up to 25mm. 32 mil. Forty three up to fifty. Sixty one to sixty eight. Sound like a big old caller. Seven twenty four 
and the last one which is 92 up to 99 Okay, so you could turn it over and do all the uh, exact same marks on the other side, but pretty much because I'm going to cut them obviously nice and straight just with a razor saw. I don't have to do that. Okay, so I brought it across my vice and I'm going to lay this, this rudder in there. Let's take it close to the line, but probably leave it about a mil higher. And I'm just going to take this square. Going to mark these lines again. Okay, so now I've marked all these uh, six positions for these cutouts. I'm just going to take the razor saw and just cut them across. And I'm just going to add two mil down to the line on either side. But this time I'm going to put a mask on because I've been suffering with sinusitis. Okay, so after cutting these uh, these slots all the way down to the pencil line on each side, and then I'm just going to take my uh, steel ruler again. I'm just going to draw around, just colour these in. Okay, so now I'm just take the steel ruler. Put it on that pencil line that we drew right at the start. I'm just going to take the craft knife and just cut between these two lines. Just turn it over and do the same on the other side. Thank you. 
I know what you kind of do. Obviously, after you score on this side, you kind of was like as if you were to choose. I'm just going to push it in this corner. And he's pretty much just going to drop it. So I'll just score it. Score it. I'm just pushing it down. He's just going to drop that piece out. And that's cut us there. Six slots for his rudder hinges. Okay, so just have to, have to do a cut in the little six slots. I'll just drop this back in the bite. And I'm just going to take a nice square file and just file these uh, sections a little bit nice and smoother. So pretty much after cutting all the six slots, let's give them a little file. It should be ready to take these uh, these hinges. It's designed that one's going to kind of fit on the inner side, and then the other one's going to kind of go in on the top and fit in the outside. They still need a little bit of a little bit of shaping. <laughs> 